research in medicine, whether it's down to the molecular level, whether it's immunology or, or what we're talking about, it's exponentially changing. And if we don't keep up with that, we're not going to be able to take care of our patients. Now that we have testing down to the molecular level, we really have the information that can change patients' lives. And either they say, okay, I get it, Dr. O'Connor, I'll carry my epinephrine, I'll have my food action plan, I'll do what you say, I'm really allergic and I need to avoid peanuts. But on the flip side, I've got those families that are so relieved when we find out that they're able to tolerate peanuts. They don't have to have the epi, they don't have to have that fear. We weren't able to do that with just standard peanut testing. Certainly having the you know peanut test has changed many of my patients' lives and it's changed the way I practice medicine and it's given me a little bit of that reward of medicine back, giving patients what they need. But I still think that we're just at the tip of the iceberg because I think that if we can do it with peanut and milk and egg and some of these other component tests we have, that we were going to have to be able to do it with all kinds of other foods and all kinds of other environmental things.